Hey guys, welcome back to another video with Infos Like That. In today's video, we're going to be learning about different platforms to learn how to use pen testing techniques in CTFs, right? Capture the flags. If you guys aren't familiar with capture the flags or CTFs, we're going to learn that today. We're going to go over a few platforms that I think that are beneficial to learn ethical hacking and pen testing and all that good stuff. So if you guys are ready for the video, let's jump into it. All right, guys. So we're on my desktop here, my Cali box. And remember, this is all for educational purposes. You never want to do these techniques on a, a target that you don't have permission to do so. I just want to convey that. Um, and if you're new to hacking and new for pen, new to pen testing, and you're looking for platforms to practice, you know. I gathered a few online and I seen a few posts out there and checked out some of these and made a little list, right? And I think it's pretty beneficial. And we'll go into them. We'll log into a few, like I have a Hack the Box. If you guys haven't seen any of my Hack the Box videos, you can check out that playlist. Same with uh, Try Hack Me. So uh, Pentester Lab, that's an awesome, awesome platform to learn. Port Swagger. You know, this is how you learn like Burp Suite and all that good stuff. And there is some on here that I haven't seen before and I haven't used, right? So we'll go through a couple of these. There's 23 of them. So you can take a snippet of this, check it out. I'm not going to go through every single one. I want to go through the ones that I, I've used and I enjoy and I like, and then we'll go to them, okay? So... Yeah, and like it says at the bottom here, take advantage of these platforms to educate yourself and create more opportunities for yourself, right? So learn more, act more, and do all that good stuff. So first, we'll start out with Try Hack Me. Try Hack Me and Hack the Box are probably the two main ones, the, the, the big boys in the field, right? So if we just go out to Google and we just go to, for example, Try Hack Me. Oops, sorry. So Try Hack Me is, is a platform that you can utilize. I'm not going to go ahead and log into any of them. I'll, uh, I'll go over the ones that I used before. And Try Hack Me is awesome. You can learn different, like, different practices. You can see red teaming, introduction to cybersecurity. And there's super, super entry-level rooms that you can utilize to practice and learn. I would recommend, you know, if you are a true, true beginner, you haven't touched any CTFs, start here. I would start with Try Hack Me. Okay, that's like it says here. I mean, a little bit beginner friendly, you know, guides and, and challenges. So, pretty much, it's going to guide you through each room. I think that's super beneficial. And when I first learned some, some of these techniques, I used Try Hack Me. And I still use Try Hack Me if there's a, a room I want to do or something that I want to learn. Uh, I definitely use Try Hack Me in my arsenal. Okay, so that's the first one on the list. The second one is try, uh, Hack the Box. This is a little more advanced, I guess you can say, compared to Try Hack Me. So, like I said, yeah, it's a massive hacking playground. Let's make this a little larger. So, this is super, super beneficial. I like this because you can, you know, you can do it for business. Universities use it. I've used it at companies I worked for, for the academy aspect, for the business, and you know, for the hacker. That's pretty much just going to signing in and logging in with your own credentials, and just like that, and you just log in with your fancy password. Once that comes up, I don't think I ever logged into this. I just made this VM for this video, so this is not my VM I normally use. So yeah, this is, you know, just like it shows a little, you know, you see your VMs booted up, you spawn the machine, you start it up, and you can download the VPN client to your Kali Linux box. And then you can use you can use OpenVPN to connect to it. And likewise with Try Hack Me. Okay, let's go to the third one on here. Pentester Lab. Pentester Lab is awesome. I actually like Pentester Lab a lot. Let's go to Pentester Lab. Yep, Pentester Lab. 
And let's go to their site. We make learning web hacking easier. I actually, I'm going to start using this more to learn more web stuff. That's probably where my weakest area is in the pen testing world, web pen testing, app pen testing, app sec, and all that good stuff. So this is definitely something I'm looking to tinker more with. And yeah, so Pen Tester Lab is an awesome, awesome hands-on exercises. You can see here the difficulty. And uh, look at boot camps. Probably a whole boatload of them. Like I said, I haven't really tinkered too much with the web stuff on here, but I, I had a, a log on. I tried it out, and you can you know, sign up for it, GoPro. And uh, you know it's two hundred dollars a year, and these are different, the different uh, tiers, I guess you would say, student, pro, enterprise, and yeah, and you know if you want to learn about web security, this is, this is the place to go, right? That's the third one. So another one that I've used is Port Swagger. This is another one that is good. We'll go here. Like I said, I'm not going to put them all in. I'm just going to do the ones that I feel that are beneficial. Right? So Port Swagger, a couple of buddies of mine are actually doing this as we speak, doing more of the web pen testing. This is, this is awesome. You know, the academy, you can look at the academy here, and you can sign, obviously you probably have to sign up to look at it, but then you have, Different kinds of labs, different kinds of attacks, HTTP host header attacks, SQL injection, cross-site scripting, cross-site scripting request forgery, XSE injection, you know, and the whole shebang, right? So we see all these uh, labs here, okay? So this is a definitely, a definitely a good platform to learn. And the point of this video is because I get a lot of people asking, what's the best way to get into cyber? What's the best way to get into ethical hacking? And I just wanted to make a video where we can utilize my time to put in for all those folks that ask me, instead of just going individually say, okay, try this out, try this out, try that out. So you can watch this video, you can try it out, you can see what's good for you, what you enjoy, what you like, and then go from there, right? I'm gonna, uh, I wanna skip Hack Expert because I never used Hack Expert. I found that on the web, and I just threw it in here just for the list. You guys can check that out. I don't want to talk on something I haven't really touched or seen. So Volm Hub is definitely something beneficial. There's, there's pros and cons to Volm Hub. So this is a virtual machine that's vulnerable that you have to download to your local machine and throw it into VirtualBox or into VMware Workstation or something like that. For example, November 3rd, web, uh, web machine, N7. So if we click on here, we can see it's an OVA. See the OVA here, we can download it right here. And it says a little description of it, medium. So this may work better with VirtualBox rather than VMware. So we know if we, this, this person that probably created this box did it in VirtualBox so they know it works correctly. So they're not saying that VMware is not gonna work, but they prefer you VirtualBox. And it's a little, snippet of their of their VM. Okay, so this is this is pretty much what VirtualBox is. Let's see if we go to about VirtualBox. And the gain the aim and the goal is to provide materials to allow anyone to gain hands-on experience in the digital security um, computer software network administration world. So yeah, this is pretty much the purpose of these VMs to learn. Everything I'm showing you guys today is to learn and improve your skills. That's something that's super important today. Uh, Vol machines I've used. So we go to Vol machines. This is another one that's pretty decent. I enjoyed it. I don't have, you know, I don't use it all the time, but I have used it. You can, you know, install how it, you know, you can check out how it works, and you can learn more. You know, what is Vol? Is Vol uh, Vol machines a cybersecurity learning platform where you know, security experts and security can use their hands-on 
skills in different cybersecurity categories, like capture, uh, capture the flag contest. Okay, and it's pretty much little questions. All right, so this is another one you can register, log in, and you can do that good stuff. Okay, so that's six of them already. Right, so I want to go over a few more that I Pico is a good one, and I want to say kudos to John Hammett. I never heard of Pete. Uh, Pico until, until John put it out there. So thank you, John. And once he said something about it, I had to check it out and it was really, really cool. So you can, you know, you know, you can log in, you can practice. Obviously, you can log in first, you have to log in. And then, you know, introduction, you can see different events. Yeah, I think this is super, super cool. And you know, check out there about. Academy, learn, be the community, and all this good stuff. So if you have any questions, you can chat with them. But yeah, Pico CTF was really, really cool. Okay. Sign up and then you can go on their Discord, ask questions, and all that good stuff. So that's another one that I've used. And if I keep going down here, Hack My VM was another one that I've used. Open up this one. So obviously I would probably have to log in. Let's see if we do anonymous. So we can pretty much download the link, sort of like Vulnhub, right? You can download the link and then obviously it's VirtualBox, virtual, uh, what that is, maybe VMware and VirtualBox, yeah. And yeah, so on and so forth. So VirtualBox is normally gonna be your go-to because it's free. Um, VMware Workstation Pro, and I think it's like 200 US dollars. So obviously free 99 will always be hundred bucks, right? So other ones I've used on here, obviously offensive security, they have the uh, proving grounds. Hold. Proving grounds. So we can go here, let's go ahead, go to Proving Grounds Play and Practice. And you can pretty much test out, test out different VMs. I think that they actually pull these from Bone Hub. So you can just go to free, and let's say let's play, and you can log in. I'm not gonna log in with my credentials at the moment, but you can you know, sign up or log in, and it technically uses the same VMs from Bone Hub. So if you have a Vuln Hub, you can just go through that that way. And Cybery, this is another one I've used. Cybery is yeah, I don't want that. Okay. And then Cybery obviously is a cybersecurity training platform where you can get. There's probably some tr free stuff out there on their on their site. So you can say, okay, start learning for free. Obviously, I'm not going to sign in right now. But there's, you know, there's uh, different labs, hands-on labs with their, with their product. So you can check out, you know, the company, the resources, the solutions, like free access. And, you know, I like to put the free stuff out there first because some folks aren't able to get, you know, Hack the box for 20 bucks a month or try hack me for I think ten dollars a month. You know, this is a way to just get free access and just to learn, get your feet wet. And that's pretty much it. Like you can, like I said, you can check out all these platforms. And I just showed the ones that I have uh, experienced myself, like Bug Bounty Hunter. I have never checked uh Cyber Psycholabs UK, I've never checked. Uh, certified secure. I have never checked. I did. I have seen. Uh, actually, I, I do have an account with uh, TTF Time, and I believe. Let me make sure before I say anything. Let me let me go to see the actual website. Yeah, and this was another one that kudos to John Hammett. Like he was the one. I think he was talking to David Bumble. So you can check out some of their videos as well um, when they had their interview. I believe they were talking about CTF Time. 
And uh, if if not, then I heard it somewhere. I think it was from John, but but yeah, these are these are all the free ninety nine ones. You know, hopefully this has been informative for you guys. If you have any questions about you know different platforms, if you guys have any cool platforms that you would recommend, throw it in the comments. You know, and put it on my Twitter, put it on my Instagram. Send me a a message so I can make videos. If you don't. You know, if you don't, or if you have any recommendations about different platforms, and I'll definitely check it out. You know, so hopefully this has been informative for you folks. This is how you can learn hands-on pen testing, hands-on ethical hacking for free, right? There's obviously paid versions as well, but you can start out with the free 99 ones and go from there. So remember, educate yourself, be safe, don't do anything silly, and uh, so many opportunities will come for you the more you learn. So until next time, folks, have a good day. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. You know the deal. Like, subscribe, share, and all that good stuff. And until next time, have a good one.